Note, like and subscribe to the channel. Just go to the Google and search for the Alien Tag Champion. And uh, if you are new to this channel, this channel is all about meant for the if you want to learn something about Microsoft Intune or any mobile device management and want to manage your endpoints like Android, iOS or Windows devices through Microsoft Intune. So don't forget to subscribe. It's free of course so that we, I can make a video and an interesting video on this. Uh, today uh, in this video I am going to show you how how you can integrate the Cisco IAC uh, network access controller with Microsoft Intune. So if you have uh, what is the use of why you want to integrate it that's maybe a first of the question but most of the if you are watching the video then maybe you already know right. So what is the use of this one right. Uh, why you want to integrate Cisco IAC with, with Intune. That is the first question. the 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 reason is uh, the reason is to oh, the reason is to integrate this IC with Intune so that you can use you can grant access based on the access control, right? So whatever the rules you define as Cisco IC, if the device is registered or enroll, then you will only grant. If the device is compliance, then you will only grant. So based on the access rule, you can grant the permission. So you are just controlling the access for Wi-Fi or VPN or for the user sign-in. And also, if you want to use the certificate-based authentications, then you need uh, Cisco IC. I mean, the of course you will uh, because. It, it will give the seamless experience but you can also use the based on the user uh, even password right so if you want to uh, restrict your uh, your users to get access gain access to the wi-fi corporate wi-fi or vpn from ios devices or android devices or windows devices which is enrolled into microsoft intune then you have to connect your cisco isa there are many NAC solution available in the market i'm just talking about the cisco iac so don't con get confused about this okay so i will briefly touch the uh, the uh, the flow uh, i will not go into much detail uh, or else you'll get confu confused about this and then i will quickly show uh, how you can easily integrate so this is the uh, microsoft uh, uh, i've fetched this from the cisco iac site you can al always get from uh, uh, from the internet from on the Cisco site so this is the network diagram and flow you see here we have the end user devices iOS Android and Windows devices and we have the Cisco IC here and here we have Azure Active Directory in Intune right so it's uh, so what what you see the flow uh, here the customer register I mean the, the end user will register the devices to the Azure right and then integration work with OAuth, with modern authentications 2.0. You can also configure with basic authentications. If you use OAuth 2.0, then you have to configure the certificate. I mean, you have to be a, uh, you have to use the third-party CA or or Microsoft uh, SCAP server certificate authority server. Uh, if you you can also use the basic authentications, which will be user-based, um, uh, user and password-based cert are validated instead of just making the MDM cert and then uh, you have to upload the IC cert into Azure. So what, what we are here, uh, the flow is here in IC authentications to Azure ready token is right. So right and then it will get the token, the Azure ready um, token assurance, uh, assurance endpoint validate the request and issue the access token right. And then this is the, 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 the first IC actually authenticate for with the azure ready to get the token how IC will get the token uh, you have to register uh, the applications in in the azure Active directory uh, so that the IC will get the token from here right and then IC uses the access token not the username and password just for the security purpose right uh, uh, and to authenticate with the microsoft intune authentications to via the azure ad so you see and then Intune respond with the successful right if they validate then it will and this is the uh, in the detail uh, and based on the IC access rules if the device is unregistered compliant or non-compliant you can enforce the policy and it will grant the access to your 
why for vpn so how you can do that there is another important thing uh, if you using microsoft intune so microsoft is deprecating the azure ad graph you all know so don't, don't confuse about the azure ad graph and microsoft graph so microsoft is depre earlier we're using azure ad graph api and will not support microsoft will not support azure ad graph enable integrations after june we are already uh, it's already deprecated actually so you must uh, integrate so you must migrate any integration that use azure ready graph to microsoft graph so you there is two things right uh, azure ready graphs and microsoft graphs so they they have deprecated azure ready graph so we have to use microsoft graph now so cisco isa typically uses the azure ready graph for integrations with the endpoint like microsoft intune so any integration between isa and intune will still use the azure ready graph applications like graph dot window run will not work beyond june okay so will not work if you are using this then it will not work so what you have to do and to use that microsoft graph you have to be on these releases so you, your isa um, release must be on 2.7 3.0 patch 5 and 3.1 patch 2 and above right so once you update the cisco isc and then uh, then you have to manually update the auto discovery url which is mentioned in this step thadar to i will show you and then uh, i mean from graph.window.net to graph.microsoft.com/tenantid so <clears throat> how you can do that so you have to go to the login into the microsoft azure portal so microsoft azure portal i will show you and this is the steps you have to follow it i will show you here right so login into the microsoft azure portal let me go to the azure portal here so this is my azure portal i am already into home see and just go to the azure portal where is azure azure active directory and you see here the app registration and if you click on new registration give it the name right like i am giving in tune for cisco isc whatever it's depend on you what what you want to give cisco isc uh, you you can select your tenant and then redirect url which is actually optional so just click on register okay and once you click on register right you will see the application id object id and tenant id right and if you click on endpoint you'll also see this one uh, oo endpoint url i'm just showing you and then you have to give some permissions here and you have to uh, you see and you have to click on certificates and secrets and you have to upload certificates here right so you have you have to download some cert uh, certificates and then upload it here okay <clears throat> download it from the cisco isc self signed certificate let me get back to the so we have gone through the azure active directory registration register applications like once you register then then you have to log in into the isc portal right and then from there you have to download the certificates uh either the default sign certificate or any other certificates you are using this certificate will actually check with the azure ready whether your device is in role or not and request for the token which we you have already explain you in the diagram right and then uh, this this from step 8 to uh, step uh, step 8 to 11 you have to be uh, uh, you have to um, get it the, that certificate from the cisco isc so once you export the certificate from the cisco isc side then again you have to go to the microsoft uh, active directory uh, azure active directory portal and as i have shown you certificate and under secret right here certificate and secret you have to upload the certificates here which you have downloaded from the cisco isc portal and then you have to match the fingerprint and then click on the manifest space and validate the display name so i will show you quickly if you go to the manifest file once you upload the certificate here go to the manifest file and you have to validate here right 
uh, you have to validate the common name right the display name here so you will see here uh, okay so you will see here some kind of uh, display name because i have not uploaded certificate but once you upload you will see and then you have to go to the api permission and give some these all permissions which you can i will quickly show here you go to the expo uh, api permission and just okay let me go to the add permissions and then here you have to select the intune right okay and then application permissions you will see all these permissions here whatever you want to select delegated permissions right similar like go back to intune and then if you select the azure so let me search for the uh, okay microsoft graph right delegated permissions you see email offline everything or if you click on application permissions and search for here as well right you got it right those all device details are there so if i just show you a few things for the device I said device command device read let me add that for you okay you see here and not granted for Raja search you have to grant and click on as it will be granted and it will be marked in green right so you see we have given Microsoft graph access similar like here you see the I guess already graph and they have Microsoft graph okay and there you have to so like similar like you will get which i have already show you and then grant admin console and then note application id and directory id once you uh, application id and directory id from where you will get you will just go to the overview and you see the application id and the directory tenant id and if you click on endpoint you will you have to make a note of this application id tenant id and the o token right these three is important just make a note and then go to the endpoint and and then yeah i have already shown you right these three these three and then you have to download these uh, all these certificates from here okay just click on that and download all these certificate you can also download all these tls certificate from the pki repository i will just click on i will show you so all those tls certificate all four is available there just click on that and you can also download the global root ca certificate let me download for you here and just click on am okay you see it's downloaded and return back if you click on any of these certificates here okay click on this one this one uh, it's downloading okay download this and this one okay so i think it's downloaded here somewhere yeah you see here this is the cert and then once you uh, you can once you downloaded all these certificates then you have to go to you have to go to the ic again cisco ic portal and then ad under administration system certificate trusted certificate and import all those uh, eight certificate which you have downloaded from the pk repository and from here and then once you upload that certificate here right and then you have to keep the auto discovery url uh, sorry auto discovery url like this graph.microsoft.com and you are in the in in the steps right i have mentioned the three things you have to note down from the portal which is actually um, which is that that what is that this application id directory id and this o token so all three you have to put it here and then token audience here and then do the test connection and see that that's it and then you configure the profiles on on the microsoft uh, intune portal by going to this here configurations profile click on the y click on and create a wi-fi profile right just select the template you can create the wi-fi profile here you see here wi-fi or vpn and just push down to the devices right 
So I've already made on video how you can push this uh, configuration. It's very simple, right? I'm not gonna show you or we'll just, just you, you can configure it, network, SSID, connectivity, and EA type, everything. It's very uh, easy since you are all admin, you, you already know disable Mac and relations and everything, right? So you can do it. Uh, it's very easy. Uh, just try to do and 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 you know right how how you can integrate your Cisco IC with Intune with very steps and with and 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 just be become expert on Microsoft Intune. Till then, thank you. Have a good day.